Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Ultima 4. We are right where we left off in this little alcove here. We went through there, and we found this door. By there, I mean this door. And we found the, um, I believe it was the Altar of Love. And now we are going to go and find uh, door number two, which is beyond this poison wall here. So let's get about dispelling that. Oh, cast spell. Oh, that'd be me. It's like I'm rusty or something. Okay, so... Oh, I'm surprised. I thought there were multiple poison walls. Oh, <laughs> there are. All right, so that's the main passageway where we came down. Uh, so let us cast dispel... I remember there being three. That's gonna suck, because we're gonna have to do all those again coming out. How are we doing on our spells? By the way, especially the spells, now that I've used a bunch of them. Oh, we still have 13. We should hopefully have enough. We will find out. All right, so now we're gonna go through door number two and see where that takes us. I'm kind of thinking we're gonna find someplace here, and I don't know if it's gonna be behind door number two. I feel like I'm on the prices, right? I don't know if it's gonna be behind door number two here, but we are probably gonna find the uh, altar of truth because we found courage and we found love. And I think we're gonna hit all three here. Uh, High Fluff seems to be like a central hub, I'm thinking. So, all right, let's go through the door. And look at this. The Altar Room of Truth. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so let's take care of our little demon friends here that we love. No, we don't. <laughs> we hate them, precious. But they're better than Balrons. Those guys are just, like, annoying beyond annoying. All right, Katrina. It's already heavily wounded. That was a good job there. I'm going to get this guy. Dupree, you're in the wrong position. Always. It's not really your fault because I'm the one telling you where to walk, but, you know. I'm going to help out Julia with this guy. Is that, what the, is that one fleeing? Kind of looks like he's fleeing. All right, one down. I'm going to get the fleeing one. There we go. All right, Dupree, you're just going to have to sit there. We'll move these two over because they can help. Oh, I think this one's fleeing now. I haven't been looking at the uh, statuses. Oh, he's gone. Good job. Good job. So this is the altar of truth. Let me make a... Uh, yes, this is an altar of truth. Let me make a note of that. I, I'm really hoping that, you know, we came in through the south here, as we have on all of these. I'm really hoping, like, if we were to come to one of these from a different direction, uh, that they wouldn't also, you know, from a different dungeon, that they wouldn't also enter this, through the south. But, you know, that's okay. You know, I would know at least which dungeons I could get to. It just might be a bit of a trial and error as to which directions. I don't know if they would all rotate or how that would work. But that is a problem for another day because... We're getting through this dungeon. We aren't worrying about the other dungeons today. So we're going to start off by going to the west, uh, my other west, going to the east. And um, and we'll see which dungeon that is. All right. And away we go. Everybody out. Okay, we are in Dungeon Shame. Dungeon Shame. This was the, we went to the east. So we could also reach Dungeon Shame from the Altar of Courage. So, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go back and see what we're going to have. Oh, Hydras. Okay, I'm cool with that. They're usually not too tough. 
I mean, really, I, I kind of feel like nothing is really all that tough for us right now. I don't know if there are harder things, but really, we're able to we're, we're able to to best pretty much everything we come across, even with a certain you know degree of difficulty. I mean, we we did lose Joffrey to I don't remember what it was we were fighting, but that was really kind of more to my inattention. Oh, it was Balrons. It was Balrons because he was sleeping through no um, fault of his own. All right, let's get these guys. Well, that one's critical. That one's lightly wounded. It would be really helpful if we could get Dupree someplace where he could get something. Oh, that one's fleeing. All right, Dupree, I think you're out of luck on this battle. All right, that's one down. All right, Julie, you can't do anything. Dupree, you can't do anything. I'll come, uh, I've all come down just in case. I'll come down. Guess I might as well be, start bringing Dupree up. All right. I'm gonna, all right, so you can go up. You can go up. You can come up. You can come up. You stay put. I stay put. Up, over, up, over, over. Go to the north and see what there is. Oh. Oh, I should have had them move. Over, over. I'll just join the conga line at the end. Up, over, over, up, up, up. <laughs> it's like I really think about this so I don't make a bad move. But we're, we're all right now. We're just heading north. All right. Dungeon Deceit. Deceit. All right, that's one we haven't done yet. And in fact, um, Deceit. Okay, yes, we had heard about that. That is one we've heard about. Um, D-E-C-E-I-T. So we've now have a path to deceit, to despise, to discard, to wrong, to covetous, to shame. And of course, we're dealing with Hyfloth. So there is one last dungeon that I believe is associated with the val or the uh, antithesis of the um, virtue of humility. And we don't know what even the name of that one is, and that should be our last one. So I'm guessing that's what we're going to find off to the west. That's what I'm thinking. Let's try holding up and camping here. Uh, I tried it at the end of the last episode, and I didn't realize until I was editing that we got no effect. So let's see if we can uh, bolster our health a little bit more now that we've had a couple battles. The time has passed. All right, that's better. That's better. Um, Iolo is still short some health, but he's doing okay. And I'm not quite up to full, but I'm doing all right too. And Shamino, I think, is 500, so we're all right. I, I do have to... Oh, wow, this is interesting. I, I do have to, to say I, I did feel bad. I was, I, was, I was editing the last episode, and I was talking about how far people were from, from leveling up. And I was talking about how Joffrey only had a few points to get to the next level, and... He's dead. <laughs> By the way, let's look at our stats. Whoops. All right. So, yeah, I still got a bit to go. Shamino's got to get to 1,600, I believe. And uh, so he's he's getting there. He's getting there slowly. Let's see how everybody else is doing. Joffrey, well, he's, he's the same as he ever was. Once we get him resurrected, he won't, won't take him very long to reach level 5. Julia is ready to reach level five right now. She's got to hit uh, 800, and there she is. Um, Dupree's got a bit to go. Iolo has reached 
the 1600 uh, mark, so he'll be ready to join me in level seven. So that's excellent. And Katrina is at two, well over 200, so she's ready to get to level three. And who knows, by the time we uh, we can get to Lord British, she may just leapfrog that because you only got to get 400 to make level four. So we will see. We will see. Uh, let me just look at my spells in a little more depth here. So let's see. So we're doing okay on cures and heals. We got 40 fireballs, eight lights still. Quickness, we have 20. I think I'm. We if we see a ball run, that's going to be my knee jerk is I'm going to do a quickness. All right. All right. Uh, if I want to do, let's see, dispel. What goes into dispel? If I need to make more, black pearl, sulfur ash, and garlic. So if need be, I could make seven more dispels. I mean, we have 13. We're doing okay for now. But if 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 it needs to be, then uh, we can make that happen. Okay, let's go back. Oh, just demons. Excellent. Excellent news. We're very happy with that, with that turnout. And we'll just kind of uh, come down here. I guess Iolo, and I didn't need to move uh, Katrina either. I'm gonna bring Julia down and Dupree over. And I'm gonna put her back there. Oh, I was gonna go down more so that Julia could get I guess what I will do is I will move Julia over and Dupree can come down. Maybe. It's not really a good spot for Dupree. Cause he can't hit nothing. <laughs> he can't hit nothing. Sorry, Dupree. I guess what happens when you're like the, well, I mean, really in seniority, Katrina is, whoops, is the lowest seniority. But uh, all right, I'm gonna have to get him someplace better I mean he wants a little XP and I can't fault him for that all right heavily wounded all right Dupree up that demon's fleeing I, I don't think he's gonna get by the time we get him in a position where he could hit something there's one down there's two down whoop Julia there's nothing in front of you quit swinging your sword and three down Okay, that's what I expected to happen. Is that he he had no shot. Sorry, Dupree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's go to the west and hopefully find a new dungeon. That would be cool. I'm going to make you wait a minute, C Katrina. All right. Now we've got our conga line going. I'm kind of making a conga line by myself. Let's see what's off to the west. Wrong. The name of the dungeon and also, and also uh, about what I was thinking as far as where I was going to, what, what dungeon I was going to find. So we got one, two, so. Just the start of the sea, that's three. Covetous is six. Wrong. How do I go from three to six? Counting. Wow. Okay, so uh, the start of the sea, that's three. Covetous, wrong, shame, that's six. I think that's what I was doing in my brain, but then I started mucking up the math. And then we got... We've already counted shame. We've already counted covetous. We've already counted wrong. So we've got six. So we got seven here. Okay. That's interesting. So there's still one dungeon that we don't know what it is. That's the one that I think is humility. And the reason I say I think it's humility is I believe covetous would be the opposite of sacrifice. That's my thought process. So I'm thinking that covetous goes with sacrifice and... Uh, uh, we've we've not heard anything about the dungeon for humility, so I really expected that to link up here. But 
Apparently it doesn't, at least not here. We're not out of this dungeon yet. All right, let's go back in. Hey, it's Santa's Pac-Man again. <laughs> I love that name for them. Even though it's stupid, but I still love it. Oh, uh, ILO. Let's get Tilly up to pre-down. Attack! What is that sound? It's it's like it's like somebody's escaping. I don't think anybody is. But it's also the sound like when a thief steals money. But our gold hasn't changed. It's still at 1866. Because I noticed that uh, last episode as well. And I was like, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? Maybe it's just a sound they make. And they're little gr These are gremlins, right? Yeah, these are gremlins. All right, Dupree, you're gonna get a shot. You're gonna get your sword wet with gremlin blood. Merry Christmas. And maybe Julia. All right, good job. Taking the fight to the gremlins. We got one of these guys that's trying to flee there. All right, that guy's gone. All right, Julia, I think we've allowed everybody a bit of combat on this one. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna come over. I can help him. Barely wounded. That one's a tougher one. Every now and then you get a tougher one. All right, that, that guy's fleeing. But he's not fleeing in a direction we want. Yeah. I think that other one's fleeing too, the one that Julia was fighting. Oh, good job. Flee right into my... All right, Julia can go there. Dupree can go down. We've done what we set out to do here. I don't know that we're gonna be able to catch that guy. All right. All right, um, I'm gonna have Dupree, um, Dupree, um, Julia and Iolo. Yeah, they've kind of got them cornered now. And let them deal with that and get everybody else out of here. That was a mistake. All right, there we go. They're dead. All the gremlins are dead. So we'll go out of here. We'll be back in that long hallway. We haven't been here very long. It'll be interesting to see if the poison wall has come back. It has. <sighs> Let's see. Caspel. And then. But the good news here is that that means we I'm talking. Uh, are done with level eight. We need to go to the south, I think, actually, where that thing is at. Yeah, this is where we need to go. This is where we need to go. Uh, this is a gaze. No, not a gazer. What are these guys called? I forget. Gazers are like the octopus with eyeballs on the end, I think. All right. Well, we got to battle them. Let's, uh, oh, my God. I just noticed my food. 
We started out with hundreds and hundreds of food, and we are down to 24. Well, I don't know. I can't. We just got to move, move on. We just got to move on. That's all we can do. And maybe what we'll try to do is, is this is going to get us out of, out of this level. Um, and uh, maybe we need to, to just try to not necessarily explore every nook and cranny, but get somewhere where we can get food. Reaper, they're called. Oh, that was barely wounded after a fireball. Holy hell. Give him another fireball. Now he's heavily wounded. I'm liking the sound of that a lot better. Oh, these... Oh. Reapers, I hate you. That one's still barely wounded. Well, you're gonna have to get up there and do a little wacky wacky. Or not. We'll leave it to ILO. It's really unfair that they can make us sleep. All right, come on. Lightly wounded. Get up there, Dupree. These guys are kind of strange because they, they like their ranged attacks too because they are not in a hurry to close distance. Heavily wounded. All right, get them. Come on, Dupree. Okay, good. They didn't poison them. They tried, but they failed. And now Dupree is sleeping. Oh, dear God. All right. Balrons and Reapers. That wasn't what I wanted to do. And maybe that one's critical. I'd like to get through this if we could. This is taking longer than I wanted. Anybody poisoned? Nobody's poisoned. They're trying to poison us. Okay, so we killed one. I was busy kind of looking at people's poison status. I missed that fact, but... Uh, how can you miss this thing? It's massive and it's right in front of you. All right. Oh, I am disabled. Well, no, I'm not. All right, we are down to 21 food. Climb. All right. Um, all right. We are in the center of a space. And I'm concerned, is that another ladder or is that... That's a door. All right. We need a ladder that we can climb up. Oh, God. All right. So we have to just... Much as I want to explore every nook and cranny. Oh dear. We need to get out of here. Uh, oh, this is a, oh. This is a, there's no exit out of here. There's no exit out of here. Everybody, Wang Chung tonight. All right, come down here. You can come down here. You can go behind Iolo. All right. 
The Zorn is heavily wounded. All right, so I'm going to send you that way. You can come down here, attack. Heavily wounded still. Attack the Zorn. So Julia and Shamino can go over there. I'm going to send Dupree to take care of the Cyclops. I might send Iolo to back him up. I think between Katrina and I, we can handle... And actually, what I think I might do is send Julia down for the orcs. I think that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Iolo, I'm going to get you back in line. All right, so the Zorn is fleeing. All right, Zorn's gone. Thank you, Julia, for cleaning that up. Orca's fleeing. I don't know where they think they're going to go. All right, so... I'm not even going to bother grabbing the gold from in here just because I don't want to take the time. Our exit out of this place might well be... And we could use our exit spell. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that. Since this doesn't lead to a ladder. It might be time to take our exit spell and see where that's going to take us. Which annoys me because I wanted to find the exit. I wanted to find the exit for for this but the good news is we can come back down here at some point and we can we can um, you know we can come right to the to this section without a whole lot of fuss you know we've explored all the other passages we know what's what's what what's where all right everybody back in line Anybody, we're doing okay on health. Julia, get down. Lightly wounded. Come down. I'm going to leave Julia there. Let them come to her. And that gives us some opportunities to... to tenderize him a little bit. He's already heavily wounded. That's a good sign. All right, good job. Good job there. Um, I guess it was, no, that was Shamino. That was Shamino. Good job, Shamino. All right, Dupree. Okay. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Um... I'm going to come down here. I'm going to pull you back one. You can stay put. I may have to send her in. I may, I may have to send her in to find. Come on, dude. I may, I, I may have to send a couple of these guys in to, to uh, get the peeps because they're like stuck in their little, in their little alcoves. I'm helping out Dupree. All right, you're going to have to go up. You're going to have to come down. Attack. And maybe I'll bring these guys down and they can they can help out a little bit somehow. All right. All right, that's good. Coming down. I'm going to leave Dupree there for the moment. All right, I'm going to go down and help out Julia. Let her take on the orc first. And then if one of those um, trolls gets in the opening, then we can give her an assist. I also help... To pre out. Katrina, you can be. Oh, I should have attacked, not moved. Let 
far too many missing here. We're missing too much, but we're also kind of hungry. All right, that guy's done. Heavily wounded. All right. I think while I'm here, we have we have some time. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have these people that have kind of been in these little alcoves to start um, getting the gold. Might as well. Yeah, the problem is if we die here because we because we ran out of food, we're going to like lose all but 200 gold, which is annoying. Maybe if it's a little, if we have a little bit more, maybe we'll keep more. I don't know. All right. You guys need to head out. Come over here. Get 38 gold, very good. Out. Dupree can start his way out. I really got to kind of pay attention here. I'm going to mess it up. 50 gold. We're at almost 2,000 gold. It's really going to tick me off. Yeah, we're over 2,000 gold. If um, we lose this because we die due to lack of food. I had this thought occur to me earlier, um, like last night or something, where it's like, who is Iolo? Get out of here, Iolo. Um, I was like, where are we on food? Because I haven't even been looking at that. I mean, I think we started off this with like 400 food. But at the same time, this has been a much more massive uh, dungeon than I ever expected. I mean, this is like my fourth or fifth episode spelunking this dungeon. And you know, we've got a ways to go. We really didn't explore anything on seven at all. All right, let's get back into the passageway. All right, here we are in the passageway. Um, oh, cast. I gotta say, light spell is very economical. All right, so here we are, and we're gonna have to descend. Oh, God. No, thank you. All right. And find another one. And I'm probably just going to get myself totally... Oh, jeez. You know what? We're going to take a minute here. And we are going to just end this episode here. And uh, when we come back next time, because we're down to 16 food, I'm going to cast an exit spell. And we'll see where we end up. And if it's some place where we can buy food, we certainly have enough gold to do so. But thank you for watching this episode. And I will be back again next time.